Hello, so I have recently just purchased a Alienware ultra widescreen monitor. Um, I love it, it is awesome. Um, and I also have a pair of Razer Nomo speakers. Um, and they both got RGB, which is very nice. Uh, but I ran into a bit of a problem in that I couldn't sync the lights up. They would both cycle through the spectrum, but at different speeds, could get the speeds to match and the colors just wouldn't be the same and it really grated on me so i've created a bit of open source software that will not only allow you to sync them uh, which was my original intention i ended up going a bit overboard um but you can choose any custom colors or you can even screen capture um, so I will just quickly show you a bit of the software as you will be able to see in the corner of the video um, There's a live recording From my phone which shows the color of the RGB speakers as well as the backlight from the monitor um, So at the moment we've just got it set through to cycling through the spectrum uh, So on my open source software here, which you can download from uh, GitHub if you want the source code or you can just download um, the folder with the executable and the necessary DLLs in um, from my website. Uh, all the links are available in the description. And I will just quickly show you it. So on the first page, it shows you which devices you have. So this will work for the Razer Nomo and the Razer Nomo Pro, I believe. And it will also work for the AW3420. Uh, and I think it will work for the AW3418. Um, but I don't have either of those devices, so I can't say for sure. Um, and it'll also work for the devices individually, um, even if you just got the monitor or you've got the speakers and you want to customize your lights a bit. It will work with that. Um, so on our start page of this software, you can see it will detect whether it has the required the SDKs that are needed for it to work. And it will also display the devices which you have. Uh, this is a tray application as well, so if you close it, it will just reside here. Um, in your tray, you can apply that. Now on the lighting tab is where we actually decide what we want the lights to show. Um, before I get to that, I'll show you some settings. So you can automatically run this on startup. Um, you can start the effect as soon as the program starts. You can also update the refresh rate. Um, quick note about running on startup is that the Alienware monitor backlights need the Alienware service uh, to run. And that doesn't start for about one or two minutes until after your computer's booted up. Um, so when you, if you run this and you boot your computer up, you'll see your normal speakers will be set to the right effect, but the monitor won't work for about one or two minutes. Um, but yeah, so we can decide to cycle through the spectrum, so we can do it very quick. If I hit apply there, you'll see it's gone to purple. Um, and when I say quick, it's, it's not the quickest, but it's a... Uh, it's quicker than if you set it to slow, then that will cycle through it really slow. Um, so for me personally, I just quite like it uh, in the mid range around there. Um, you have custom colors, so you can set it to flick between everyone's, whichever ones you want. So if you want it to flick just between red and blue and then back to red. Um, we'll set the tempo of that. You can see here we start off red and then it will merge into blue and then it will merge back into red and it will carry on like that um, and you can add whichever colors you want in there we can whack green in there and if we hit apply again so you can see it'll start off red it will go to blue and then it will go to green and just quickly show you so it does work so we hit blue and we're merging into green now that's good and the other effect so one of the nice things I've seen recently, especially when it comes to RGB stuff, is uh, the screen capture. Um, so especially on, like, I think it's the NZXT, uh, where it's, you have loads of LEDs on the back of your monitor, and whichever part of the screen um, is like below the LED, it will light up that color. Um, and I had a go at this. Obviously, there's only just one color, rather than lots of LEDs with lots of different colors, but I thought it'd be quite nice to capture the, uh, the average color of the screen. Um, so I made this extra feature on it. Um, so I'm going to quickly demo it. So one of the issues I had though was if you try and capture the average screen of the full screen, the average color doesn't actually change that much. 
it's not the best and I will show you now so I've got rust open in the background so if I hit apply now so we're on screen capture now and if I go into rust um, you can see if I look down it goes a bit dark if I look up it goes a bit brighter um, but even if we run in towards a tree it goes a little bit green um, but not that green really um, yeah, it's not the best if I run up to this horse try and make most See, it doesn't really change colour that much. Um, which isn't the best. So, one of the other features I then added to this uh, was the ability to set whereabouts on the screen you want to actually cover, uh, capture the average colour from. So, and I found out this actually works a lot better. So on here, I am going to capture the average color just a bit off center. I'm going to do it there. And then if we go back into Rust, you can see there now the color's a lot greener. Um, if I look down, it, it becomes a lot more responsive. You see there if it's dark, and then you look up, uh, it becomes a lot brighter. It's You get much better quality response from that but even still then you know i'm i'm not convinced by it um if we run up to here we might be able to get it to go a bit brown even then it's still it's not the best um but one thing which it is actually kind of good for which i found was for when you watch videos not that one it's this one that one um so i'm getting pumped for the new halo so i thought i'd catch up and uh, remind myself what happened in all the other ones um and as i was watching this it wasn't too bad actually especially for like when there's people on lifts and you see lights going by and then suddenly gets darker and brighter it actually works quite well um so if we go into the software and we set it to capture the average image about there and we hit apply and we click play on the video, you can see there where it goes dark in space, like all the lights fade out. Um, I mean, this video is like four hours long, so it's quite difficult to skip to the right bit. But then even there, you can see as they're flying through explosions, everything, you get the right colors. And just there's loads of stuff happening, it's flashing. It actually, I think it actually works quite well. Um, but yeah, but then that's only on video. So I'd say if we just if if you're just working normally on the desktop, it's pretty useless. Um, but it's there, and it can work in situations. But yeah, I to be honest, I usually just go with Spectrum. So that, um, yeah, and you can get it to run on startup. You can get to start the effect straight away. Um, so yeah, I just have it running all the time, and it's. It's quite nice. I'm, I'm actually really happy with how it's turned out. Um, and now I've, all, I've got my lights in sync. Um, let's get out of rust. Uh, which is the main thing. Uh, let's get rid of that. Um, so yeah, it's all open source. You can get it all from here. It's also on my website. As I say, the links are in the description. Um, but yeah, it's called the Normalian Wear Sync. Uh, yeah, you can download it there from Mediafire. Um, you don't need an installer, you just download the zip file, extract it, run it, and then click the option to set it to run on startup if you do want it to run straight away. Um, yeah, and that's it. Thanks for watching.